This video is not meant for children under 13. I mentioned this in my last video, but a few weeks ago it was my 18th birthday. So I went to New York City to celebrate and had a really good time over there. But as you do on your birthday, you go on a massive shopping spree and I bought a bunch of very cool interesting stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show off all the stuff I bought on my birthday. To start things off, we have the Bachman Deluxe Thomas and the Troublesome Trucks set. This is a set I've been meaning to pick up for a while, but I only now got around to doing it. I guess you could say I was saving it for this occasion. The set came with a normal Bachman Thomas, which sadly had a crooked face, but don't worry, I did fix it. Two troublesome trucks with a load, I believe that's supposed to be dirt, I don't know. And a resident building, which was a pain in the ass to build. Although it didn't look like it, this building was not the easiest to build. For one, there was no instructions to let you know how to build the damn thing. Two, the parts do not like to stay together while you're trying to build it. The only way I was able to keep it all together is with glue. I also did buy some Bachman Easy Track just so I could add it to my layout. Now with the set and the Bachman Easy Track, I can now run two engines at a time, which is something I like to do. Next up, we have the Bachman Daisy, which is a model me and a bunch of other people have been waiting for for quite some time. This is by far one of Bachman's best models, and I mean it when I say she is by far the smoothest runner in the whole Thomas & Friends line. I will definitely be doing a review video on this model whenever I get the chance. As soon as I'm done finishing this one, I'll definitely get to work on the Daisy review. Next up, we have some Bachman rolling stock and set dressing. The first being the Bachman Express Coat, which I bought just to have more of, which brings my grand total of five Express Coaches now. We have a cargo car with a Brenda Bay cargo box a soda or coal car with coal in it, a milk tanker. I also got Terrence the Tractor Engine, which is by far one of Bachman's best models. I love how accurate he is to the show, and yes, he does move around. Though sadly, his treads don't actually move and his shovel can't be posed up and down. Though it is still a fantastic model, and I'm very happy I got it. I also got this cool water tower with a movable hose. I thought it would be a great addition to my layout, and I was right. Moving on, we have the Hornby Flying Scotsman set. Not only is this the first real steam engine I own in my collection, but it's also the first Hornby set I've actually owned in my entire life. Seeing how I live in the US of A, Hornby sets are not very common over here. But when I went into this hobby shop in New York, I found this set and immediately picked it up. This set includes the most famous steam engine in the world, the Flying Scotsman, which is a big part of why I bought this set. The Flying Scotsman is my favorite steam engine of all time, and I've always wanted a model of him, and now that I finally have one, I am very happy. Scotsman also comes with three coaches, which at first I didn't think I need, but they actually started to grow on me, and now I'm glad I have them. The set also came with a loop of track and a controller, which I mostly use to test out models, but it comes in handy every now and then. I also picked up some of the new wooden railway engines, the ones being Thomas, Gordon, and James. Ever since I first saw them, I've always had an interest in picking them up. And to be honest, these things are pretty cool, and I'm very glad I have them. I had a lot of fun with these guys, especially when I was in New York. This doesn't look dangerous at all. Oh. Shit. Oh, and uh, also, I did a really cool review on these guys, so, um, yeah, you should definitely go check that out, like, now. Next up, we have a Capsule Play Rails or Topham Hat figure. If I'm being honest, I don't really care for the Capsule Play Rail line. They just don't really interest me. But their figures are fire. And I've been wanting to collect them for a while, but never got around to doing it. Until now. And let me tell you, these things are small. I mean, just look at them compared to a Lego figure. Yeah, he's pretty small. That's what she said. <laughs> 
But nonetheless, I'm very happy to finally own the head of the railway, Sir Topham Hatt. Up next, we have the Tommy Thomas and the Jet Engine set. This is something I've been meaning to pick up for a while because I really wanted a jet engine for as long as I could remember. I own two of them. One I plan to keep in box and the other one that I plan to do a review on. It'll come out as soon as I'm done with the Bachman Daisy review and a couple other ones. Don't worry, it's coming soon. The last thing I got is something I ordered from the man himself, the Stample Playrail Store. Now let's see what I got from this absolute legend. All right, you guys, so we have a package right here and this comes from uh, the Stample Playrail store, you know, my best friend over in Thailand. And uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of tape, taping off stuff because we're not gonna have the same problem as we did in the uh, Chinese Dragon video. So let's open it. I got a new X-Acto knife, by the way. So if we open it up, you see a bunch of bubble wrap. Let me just close this real quick. And uh, I already see a few things coming out. So right off the back, we got two railway personnel. These are the uh, capsule play rail figures. And we have two railway personnel. Been meaning to collect a few of these figures just so I can use them in videos and so forth. Cause I do have a Sir Topham hat figure I just needed to railway personnel remove that and we have something in this bubble wrap what is it why is it so hard to unwrap okay like 20 minutes later we finally have this unwrap and it is Harvey the crane engine so here we have a Playrail Harvey. I've been meaning to get this for a while because I just wanted it, but I didn't really want to pay something crazy for a brand new one. So I just asked uh, Stamp if he had one in his store. He said he did, I bought it right off him and here is Harvey. Now, as many of you know, Harvey is a, not a powered engine. You know, he has a special workman's coach that is that powers him. Where is that at? I believe this is it. Let me open it up and see if it is. Yep, this is it, that was right. Here is the uh, motorized brake coach that uh, connects to Harvey and then you put a battery in it and it powers him, which I, there's no battery in this. I have to go put one in it in order for it to work. Let me just quickly get a battery so I can see if the thing works. Okay, got them right here. Also got a screwdriver because you need one to open it. There we go, now it's open. Now let's see if this thing works. It does, thank God. Eh, it's all right. Motor could be better, but at least it works. Okay, just turned off. There we go. Yep. Motor's acting a little funny. Hopefully it's not too funny. I don't want to uh, make stamp sad. I'll have to test this out on some uh, Tomy track and see if it does actually work. All right, let's see what else we got in this package. All right, found another thing. Oh, this. All right, so here we have the uh, flatbed that comes with Harvey. It's got, it's that special flatbed with all the girders and ladder and all this building stuff it's a really cool uh tomy item to have i used to have one of these when i had the uh busy b james trackmaster one uh glad to have another one of these wish i still had that because it is quite rare these days now these three items are pretty much the same 
but I'll just unbox one of them, for you, unwrap one of them for you anyway. What these are, are I got three green express coaches because I actually needed more express coaches for videos and so forth. So I, and just have a really cool shot of Gordon, my uh, player L. Gordon pulling a bunch of green express coaches. So right here is three of them that I've ordered. I guess I'll unwrap these off camera. All right guys, so here is everything I've ordered from Stample Playrail. We have a Playrail Harvey with green coach and workman flatbed, two railway personnel and three green express coaches. Again, thank you so much Stamp if you are watching this. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have such a big Trackmaster and Tomy collection that I have today and I hope your store continues to grow and become even more successful. Also, show the man some love and follow him on Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description below. And you better do it, because if you don't follow this man, I will find you. And I will kill you. So that pretty much is everything I got on my birthday. As you can see, I got a lot of cool stuff. It's mostly trains and Thomas related. Though, let's be honest, if it wasn't Thomas related, none of you people would watch this video. Just ask this guy, he'll tell you I'm right. But that's the whole point. It's stuff that I really like and I'm into. And some of this stuff is stuff I've been wanting to get for a while. And now that I have them, I'm very happy to own all this stuff. And some of these things could make for really good review videos. I could tell you right now, the one I want to do the most is the Daisy review. She will definitely be the next video I do. Be on the lookout for that one. With that being said, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you very soon. Before I leave, there is one other thing I got, but I'm saving it for another video.